A quiet morning passes in Slavyansk, a day after a deadly shootout threatens to shake an already fragile agreement. Sunday's gunfight killed at least three people and triggered more tensions between Moscow and Ukraine's western-backed government. Residents wandered near the barricades Monday, where supporters handed out cigarettes and traditional Easter cakes. One activist said he and his fellow protesters just wanted to be free of Kiev and its new authorities. The people hope that the whole world will hear us at least, and that there's not a falsification of facts of what's happening here. All the people of Slavyansk and Donbass want peace so that we are left alone. Last week, Russia, Ukraine, the U.S. and the E.U. reached a deal in Geneva aimed at averting a wider conflict. In Russia, Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov blamed Kiev for the shooting and accused authorities of violating the agreement. This is a crime beneficial only to those who want to cancel the implementation of the Geneva Agreements, and everything points to the fact that the Kiev authorities are unable, or perhaps do not want, to control extremists who continue to rule there. Russia continues to deny involvement in eastern Ukraine's unrest.